What's up guys, this is iPhones and iPods, and uh, today I have a quick mod to show you guys, but this is a, uh, a good mod that you guys should know about, and it, it uh, involves Winterboard, and this mod will, it's called Winterboard Lite, and what it does is just an add-on, I'm pretty sure, it's just an add-on to Winterboard that allows you to, uh, to uh, save some memory and thus make your iPhone and iPod touch run faster it saves the RAM memory and um so what it does is it allows you to uh, so for instance I'm gonna go into settings and when you once you install this and I'll have the source and everything and how to do it in the description and, or I'm gonna show you in just a second as you see I have a new thing called winterboard light so I click on this and I can turn on a thing called memory saver and what it does is it takes off font support and some other things that themes usually don't have, but Winterboard uh, does uh, have. And um, so Winterboard is running it, but your theme isn't, so it's just pointless and it's uh, wasting memory. So, like for instance, I have a pretty big theme on this, and I can tell that it was running slow, but then I installed Winterboard Lite, and now it's a little bit quicker. So um, this is a great modification if you guys are using some hardcore themes and you want your device to run at speed so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Cydia and we're going to have to add a source and um, I'll have a link in the description but I'll also tell it to you guys right now let it load alright so once we're in Cydia we're going to go to manage sources edit and add and I'll have a link in the description or annotation right here but I'll also tell it to you right now it's the David Ashman source, so what we're going to type is type in is D-A-V-I-D dot A-S-H-M-A-N dot com slash beta. But uh, don't worry, I'll have a link in the description. And once you're done adding that source, just click add source, and you should have the new source called David Ashman right there. So I'm just going to click on David Ashman to uh, reveal the packages within that source. And just let CD be slow and load. It's where you click on it, but it doesn't show that you've actually clicked on it, but I'm clicked on it. Oh, there we go. So you'll see a package called Winterboard Lite. And as you can see, I've already installed it, so but you just click install, confirm. So uh, get that downloaded, and then you're going to have to respring, actually. And you don't want to donate. But you're going to have to respring once you uh, install this. Once you've resprung, you will slide and you won't notice any changes and also you, you have to have winterboard this is just an add-on to winterboard this isn't a replacement of winterboard this is an add-on that yeah a mod for winterboard so you're not going to see anything on your you're not going to see any changes the only thing you're going to see is a change in your settings which is what I've already showed you winterboard light it allows you to save memory but um so there really isn't any visual like you can't see any changes other than the speed you obviously you can see the speed but you can't there's no icon or anything there's no other features it's kind of like a hidden behind the scenes application that allows you to speed up your your iPhone if you're running themes in winterboard so um that's pretty much it guys that's how you uh get winterboard light and use it for your iPhone or iPod touch and um one last thing guys is um I have a lot of companies have been requesting that I do reviews for them not app reviews as much but product reviews I'm starting to think that maybe I want I might want to do a couple of uh, product reviews but um I just want to tell you guys before I start doing that it's not going to interfere in the number of jailbreak videos I do it's just going to be an add-on it's just going to be a plus for you guys it's not going to interfere in how many jailbreak videos I do or any of that stuff I just want to tell you that before before I get into that kind of thing but um so no worries I'm still gonna have I'm still gonna have my jailbreak videos once official once the official uh, beta 3 firmware and quick pwn comes out obviously I'll have a thing on that too and there's also the new beta 5 firmware but they just keep on constantly updating the firmwares there's no point in upgrading yet because they're not done yet so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, thanks guys That's